Travis and Jen here in the Bioathletic Gym and we're going to have a bit of a chat about strength training for mountain bikers. Um, so there's a bit of an old school school of thought that you can get all the strength you need just from riding. Um, I can put a few hills in my program, Jen. Does that yeah. help? Is that enough? Uh, it helps, but it's not enough. Not okay. if you want to be really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want to be really good? <laughs> Um, basically, only 40% of the variance um, in a high level mountain biking right at the elite level is explained by your fitness. So it's not all about fitness. Okay. It's definitely, it definitely comes down to things like your um, power to weight ratio. That's really the biggest um, difference in the good mountain bikers and the great mountain bikers. Okay, all right. So to get to the, uh, the podium, I've got to be doing a bit of strength. Okay. Oh, yeah. So how does strength training actually help me get across the line? Okay, so what it does is it increases your overall maximal strength, which means that you are more powerful. And yeah. it's coming back down to that power to weight ratio. Basically, you need to get strong in order to be powerful. And then once you're strong, you can then convert that into pure power. Okay, all right, so pure power comes from the, the building of strength. Yeah. Okay, yeah, nice. So basically the next question that everybody's gonna ask is then, how do I do it? What what exercises should I do? Um, what's, sure. what's the the basic prescription that you'd go with? Um, look, and again, it really comes down to the individual with that sort of stuff because mm. um, prescribing on an individual level, um, you'd start off by treating any discrepancies or um, injury risk factors that yeah, the true. athlete might have, um, and then from there you progress, build basic strength, build specific strength, and then build power, okay. and then that works. Um, you basically keep going through that sort of cycle building and peaking and tapering for your competition. Okay, uh, for injury risk factors, by the way, have a look at our, uh, our previous videos on injury proofing, uh, some gold in amongst that. Um, so then if I was to head to the gym, um, is there a hit list of, of types of exercises that I should be really looking to, to max out on? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Things like your squats, single leg squats, um, Bulgarian squats and deadlifts, they're really what give you that hip drive and that's okay. where all that force comes from. All right, uh, uh, core training, or is that more in in yeah. in integrated with, Look, with the rest of the training? Um, I like to integrate it a lot into the rest of the training. Yeah. I think that's much more functional, much more useful, um, but definitely core um, in mountain biking in particular has a big impact because you need to be able to hold yourself in those static positions to then get up over the technical sections. Okay. Um, so can the sit-ups? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's not so much about trunk flexion, so not so much about pulling yourself up, but more about holding your body stable and holding the bike stable as you're doing things. Nice, but you get plenty of that sort of core strength, uh, the, the, that element out of a deadlift or a squat movement, oh, which yeah, is... absolutely. And then move them into, say, a single leg or a single, single arm movements, and then, yeah, absolutely, you're gold. Okay, nice. Uh, for someone starting out brand new, uh, sets, reps, like, what, what's the prescription that you'd start with to begin with, or can you give me something... Uh, give me something, okay, I'll, I'll give you something. Look, basically, I'd like to start, if you're training for strength, um, five by five is a great way to start. Yeah. So five sets of five reps, um, and at, it needs to be a decent weight. So it needs to be at least 70% of your maximum weight, um, otherwise you're just not getting strong, basically. So the, the old three sets of 10 isn't gonna cut it here. Yeah, true. Uh, having said that, though, if you're just starting in the gym, uh, two sets of eight. Eight <laughs> would probably be plenty to start and get uh, get some, some yeah. gains to begin with. Um, but down the track, yeah, moving into the, the strength. strength yeah, forms. absolutely. Look, yeah. If, if you're first starting out, haven't ever done any strength training before, you need to move through just a basic um, program. Yeah. And then from there, you can get more technical um, in what you actually want to get out of the program. Nice. Where can I go to learn a bit more, Jan? Me. Come to Jan. <laughs> um, Bioathletic is now launching uh, some online training, uh, especially for you mountain bikers, uh, as Jen is one of you. Um, so take a look at the online, mount, uh, online, online programming page that you'll see a link to just below and uh, get all the info you can get there.